Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Deep Tuition Class. In this video, we are going to solve question number 2, 3, 4, 5 from exercise 1.3, chapter number 1, number system. But if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and watch the video till the end. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon for more updates. Student, here we have the question number 2. It states that you know that 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857. Over here it is uh, given, it is uh, under the bar. So, this means that it is a uh, non terminating and repeating or recurring. Can you predict what the decimal expansion of 2 by 7? 3 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7 are what, you, what is the decimal expansion of this? You have to uh, write that, predict that without actually doing the long division. If so, how? Without doing the long division method, you have to explain and predict the decimal expansion of this all. If that is possible, then how you will do that you have to mention. Alright? So, student, to solve this, First and foremost, the biggest hint given in the question is that 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857 under the bar. Okay. So, if you uh, look to 2 by 7, can we write 2 by 7 like 2 into 1 by 7? Is it possible? Yes. Why not? Because 2 into 1 is 2 and the 1 into 7 is 1. Right. So, if that is possible, then can't we write the value of 1 by 7 here? Yes. So, 0 0.142857 I can write there. Sorry, bar will be only for this. Remember, you have to be very careful. Okay. Because these things are only getting uh, repeated. Alright. So, when you multiply this, 2 7 is a 14. Right. 1 in hand, 2 5 is a 10, 11. 2 8 is a 16, 17. 2 2 is a 4, 5. 4 2 is a 8. 2 is 2 it is 0.2 it is 0 0.285714 so this will be also under the bar so this is the first decimal expansion of 2 by 7 without actually dividing so similarly we are going to solve for 3 by 7 also that is 3 into 1 by 7 is equal to 3 into 0 0.142857 right is equal to 3 sorry 21 3, 5, 15, 17, uh, 3, 8, 24, 20, 25, then uh, 3, 2, 6, 7, 8, then 3, 4, 12, 3, 1, 3, 4.0. This is 0 here, and this will be under the bar. So this is 428.428571. Without actually division, actually dividing, I have solved this 3 by 7 also. Now proceeding to 4 by 7, it is 4 into 0 0.142857, yes. So when you multiply this, you will get 0 0.571428, 571428, alright. Okay, next we have 5 by 7, 5 into 1 by 7 it is, sorry I have forgot to write here that, one step four into one by seven then comes this step okay so when you um, put the value of one by seven you'll get zero point one four two eight five seven when you multiply this you'll get zero point seven one four two eight five under the bar okay last we have six by seven right so six into one by seven is the way to express right so it is 6 into 0 0.142857 under the bar so when you multiply this you will get 0 0.857142 under the bar so this is all so they have asked us to uh, find the decimal expansion of this given fraction given rational number without actually doing a long division method so if that is po if that was possible then how it this is the way this is the po only the possible possible way to find the decimal expansion of the given rational number. Okay, let us proceed to question number three. Here we have the question number three. 
it state that express the following in the form of a p by q that is in rational num rational form where p and q are integers okay where p and q are integers and q is not equals to 0 that is a rational form right so you have to express this in a p by q form this given number you have to express in the p by q form all right so to solve this number 1 0 0.6 bar can we assume that x is equal to x is equal to 0 0.66666 this will continue can't we write this because this 6 bar represent this 6 is a non terminating and non and repeating form of a decimal expansion right so we can write this x is equal to we have assumed x is equal to this and we have put the uh, equation 1 equation number 1 all right so now what we are going to do here is we will multiply this both the side by 10 why i'll tell you multiplying both side by 10 all right so why 10 because after the decimal only one digit is there and only one digit is getting repeated that is why point for one and after point there is one digit so it is 10 okay also you can see that um, over here uh, only six is getting repeated only one uh, digit is getting repeated that is one digit is getting repeated that is six only 6 is getting repeated so only 1 0 will be there okay that's why it is 10 so if you multiply both the side by 10 then 10 into x is it is your 10x and 10 into 10 into 0 0.6666 is 10x is equal to 6.6666 all right so this will be a product this will be equation 2 equation 1 and 2 now what we can do is we can subtract equation 2 and 1 by 1 right so we can write subtracting 1 from 2 we get that is 2 minus 1 we have to do that is 10x is equal to 6.6666 and x is equal to 0 0.6666 how many 6 have you 1 2 3 4 ok 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 ok only 1 4 ok so when you minus this when you subtract this you'll get 0 0 0 0 point 6 minus 0 is 6 it's your choice how many uh, 6 you want to put ok that's up to you ok so 10x minus 9x is uh, 10x minus uh, x is 9x right so it is x is equal to 6 by 9 so can can we uh, cut this 2 3 to 6 sorry 3 to the 6 3 3 to 9 it is 2 by 3 so this is the form of a p by q so here we can write therefore 0 0.6 bar can be written in the form of a p by q that is by 2 by 3 okay so with this we are over with number one i hope you have understood this similarly with using the similar concept we are going to solve the question number two also here we have the question number two on a similar way we are going to solve this one also we will assume that x is equal to 0 0.47777 how many four seven you want to write it's your choice but it should be a limit okay so x is equal to 0 0.4777 i have written this in a as a um, assumed the x value okay similarly over here what we are going to do is multiply both the side multiplying both side by 10 why 10 because only one digit is getting repeated no that is only 7 is getting repeated not 4 keep this uh, keep this bar away from 4 otherwise you will be confused okay? so um, your only 7 is getting repeated so we are going to multiply both the side by 10 uh, many of the student does that uh, uh, after decimal form there are 
two digits why not we are multiplying with 100 no it's not like that you have to see how, what number is getting repeated how, which number is getting repeated whether uh, both the numbers are getting repeated or only this number is getting repeated if the single digit is getting repeated then you have to multiply by 10 if it is uh, if the double number is getting repeated then you have to multiply with the 100 okay so multiplying both the side by 10 then you'll do this 10 into x is 10x and 10 into 4.0.477 is 4.7777 okay so this will be a question two similarly we are going to subtract subtract the equation one from two we get what we get we will get 10x is equal to 4.7777 and x is equal to 0 0.4777 all right so it is minus here 7 minus 7 is 0 if you have written more 7 then also you can uh, write the limited 7 out here okay it's not a big deal 7 minus 7 is 0 7 minus 7 is 0 again 7 minus 7 is 0 4 minus 7 is 3 and 4 uh, 7 minus 4 is 3 point here 4 minus 0 is 4 is equal to 10 x minus x is your 9 x right so it is x is equal to 4.3 divided by 9 when you remove this point you will get 10 here so it is 43 divided by 90 so your 0 0.47 bar you can express in the form of a p by q as 43 by 90 okay so this is the offer i hope you have understood this all right here we have the question number three we will assume x value as 0 0.0.5 0 0.001 0, 0, 001 because this number is getting repeated three whole whole three digit is getting repeated so 0, 0.001 0, 0, 001 written here again 0, 0, 001 you can write more but let us keep it out here so we will keep this as equation one okay next equation next what we are going to do is we are going to multiply multiply both side by how much what do you think after point how many digits are getting repeated three digits so it is point for one and there are three digits so it is thousand so you will multiply both the side by thousand now you can say with, with uh, we will divide by we'll multiply with the thousand okay so when you multiply this you'll get thousand into x is thousand x and thousand into 0 0.001 is one point zero zero one zero zero one you can multiply and get the answer so this will be equation two all right so when and now similarly we are going to subtract here subtract equation one from two so when you subtract this you'll get thousand x is equal to one point zero zero one zero zero one and x is equal to zero point zero zero one zero zero one so when you subtract this you'll get thousand x minus x is 999 x is equal to 0 0 0 0 0 0 point 1 minus 1 is 1 minus 0 is 1 so you can write x is equal to 1 by 999 so therefore 0 0.0 there is no other option so 0 0.001 bar can be written in the form of a p by q as 1 by 999 simple i hope you have understood this all right so with this we are over with question number two or three also let us, now we will proceed to question number four here we have the question number four it state that express 0 0.99999 dot 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 it will go on you know why in the form of p by q okay are you surprised by your answer you have to convert this into your p by q form how we did in the previous class uh, previous uh, sum so you have to observe whether you are surprised by your answer or not you have to discuss also why the answer makes sense with your teacher and classmates so you all know what we have to do here that we have to assume 
that x is equal to 0 0.99999 this will be a question 1 because if you write this in a bar form uh, it is 0 0.9 bar right so now what we have to do we have to multiply multiply both side by 10 right after decimal point only one number is getting repeated right so it is 10x is equal to 10 into 0 0.99999 is equal to 10x is equal to 9.9999 we can write like here so it is equation 2 now we can subtract how we did in the previous question subtract equation 1 from 2 we get 10x is equal to 9.9999 x is equal to 0 0.9999 minus 9 minus 9 is 0 0 0 0 point 0.9 here and 10x minus x is 9x is equal to it, it will be like this so 9 by 9 it is 1 right so what you got the value x is equal to 1 so it is 1 by 1 you can write isn't it so the difference between 1 and 0 0.9999 is 0 0.001 if you uh, subtract 1 minus 0 0.999 then you will get 0 0.00001 something like this which is quite negligible we won't say that uh, it is 0 0.001 has got actual value right so hence we can conclude that 0 0.999 is too much 0 0.999 is too much near to 1 right so therefore we can write 1 as the answer and can be justified so whether you are surprised or not yes we are surprised for the glance for a minute we are surprised but uh, when we find the difference between this two we find this uh, value which is negligible right so um, there we can say that there is no gap just no big gap between this two number so hence they are equal they are equal and make sense all right i hope you have understood this here we have the next question question number five it states that what can the maximum number of digits be in the recurring block of digits in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 so you have to divide this and you have to get how what will be the maximum number of digits okay until and unless you find the one as a reminder or uh, zero as a reminder it will move on go on and on right so you have to perform the division to check your answer long division method to check this answer okay so solution is 1 by 17 you have to divide divide 1 by 17 okay you have to perform this activity so 17 will be divide 1 will be dividing 17 so 17 0 is 0 1.00 0, 0 again 10 hundred so it is 17 um, 5 zero is 85 minus it is 5 here and 150 so 17 uh, 8 is possible it is 136 4 1 17 8 again 136 we can do 4 this 0 so 17 2 ja is 34 right 7 2 ja is 34 so we can write 4 here and oh, sorry 6 here and it is point 0 now 17 uh, 3 ja is 51 9 point 0 here then 17 5 ja 17 5 is 85 5 here 17 2 is 34 4 minus 3 is 1 again it is 60 160 so what we can do 17 9 is possible so 17 9 is 153 so it is 7 here 
जीरो सेवेंटीन फोर जा इज़ सिक्सटी एट टू जीरो सेवेंटीन वन जा इज़ सेवेंटीन थ्री हियर थर्टी सो सेवेंटीन व्हाट वी कैन राइट सेवेंटीन वन जा अगेन अदर्स आर नॉट पॉसिबल सो माइनस हियर थ्री again it will be 2 minus 1 is 130 so it is 17 7 is possible 119 so right here 7 ok so when you uh, divide minus this you will get um, 1 and 1 here 0 so it is next is 17 6 is possible so 17 6 is 102 it is 8 here 8 uh, okay, zero. So seventeen four is possible. So you'll write seventeen four is sixty eight. Sixty eight two here. So it is um one zero seventeen seven is seven is possible. So seventeen seven is one hundred and nineteen here. So when you subtract this. And uh, 120 minus 190 is 1. So finally you are in the destination. So <coughs> you can say that uh, because why we have stopped here is because we have started from the 1. Right? We have started from the 1. Since we have started from the 1 and our reminder we are getting here 1. So this will be your final result. That is your um, recurring decimal expression of this okay maximum number of a digit which uh, in the form of a recurring block of digit in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 is 1 by 17 is 0 0.05 double eight two three five two two three five two nine four one one seven six four seven all right so this we will keep under the block bar sorry so what does this indicate is there are how many digits counted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 digits there are 16 digits in the repeating these are all the repeating block okay repeating block of the decimal expansion of decimal expansion of 1 by 17 all right i hope you have understood this so this is the long division method and finally we got this one out here as a reminder right so and this is 16 digits are there in the repeating block of the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 i hope you have understood this